How are you, kittens? I'm just uh, online. It's Saturday afternoon here in sunny England, which isn't sunny at all. And I just am about to set my cat to grey, so it's still there because it always switches itself off. Dreams. Now, where is it? That's odd. PS4. Why isn't it there? That's strange. How odd. Dreams. Why is it not coming up? What's happened, kittens? Does anybody know? Hmm? That is strange. Media, no. Oh, well. It used to appear, and now it doesn't. Can anybody help? Well, I'm going to try and figure this out before I do anything. Da -da -da -da. How have you all been, anyway, kittens? Has everyone watched Black Mirror now? I've been busy working this week, going up and down to London to do special secret things. And so you can see it on the front page. But when you do a search, it's not there. That is strange. How odd. No current broadcasts. Well, I'd like... I'd like it to be a broadcast. Let's have a look. How odd. It's almost like it's not possible at the moment. That is strange. Hello, whoever's joined the chat room. I don't know if you know how I can do this. It's, um... It doesn't seem possible to tag my stream as dreams. Because dreams doesn't come up as a tag. So... I'm just going to have to carry on without it, I'm afraid. Right, let's do this. I hope you've all had a nice week. There has been an update you'll be excited to hear. In Dream Surfing, you can now filter by other things like newest, last updated, trending. What's trending? Oh. Oh, how exciting. Hello, kittens. I don't suppose you know how I can... I can't, um... I can't categorise my video. Oh, I see, because someone else isn't doing it at the moment. Well, if anyone can figure it out, maybe somebody could Google it for me. We can have a little look at um, the new filters in a minute. Well, I'm looking at them now, actually. Uh, 
Here we go, look. Ones that I've already played. Ones that I've liked that have been updated since I played them again. Look at that, and these little hearts. That means that... I think that means they've been on the... on the stream. Isn't that exciting? New things to help people find good stuff. Um, I'm sure I've unlocked some of these. Anyway, let's go and look at the supermarket. I'm just dawdling. I made my own dream of Earth's Dash as well, actually, just to get the imp. <laughs> it's a bit difficult. Let's have a look at it. You should try it. It's good fun making Dreamverse Dash. Oh, I've put traps in there. Oops. Oh, oh dear. Got to open that door by pressing these buttons. Oh. Oh no, Connie's in bits. Anyway, have a go at it. I made it public. It's had three thumbs up. I'm not sure how many plays it's had. Um, let's have a look. Played by ten people. Oh dear. Well, have a go. It's not brilliant, but it's alright. Oh yeah, I need to change it to the scoreboard. Oops. Uh, let's do that now, shall I? Time. Better score is lower. Thank you, whoever commented. There. Let's set a time, shall we? It's quite hard. I do like a challenge. Well, that was close. Oh, you little monkey. I used the Dreamiverse Dash kit to make this. The problem is that if you don't get it under 30 seconds, you can't finish the blooming level. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? So today we're going to try and optimise the supermarket so that we can get those shelves full. So I think what we'll do first is we'll do an experiment to see what reduces the thermometer the quickest. Oh, quick. Oh. Oh, bottoms. And then once we're happy with that we've got the right solution, we will build some more items to go on the shelves. We'll probably just reskin the ones that we've got to start with. Oh, I've buggered it up again. Those buttons are annoying, aren't they? <laughs> I should scale them up, really. So they're bigger. Let's 
This is a good run. Come on, Connie. Put a door in there that have to be activated by the buttons. Did I do it? Oh, just under 30 seconds or anyway. I'm guessing that if I exit, my time should be on there. Yes, that's it there. So there we go. Have a go at my Dream Reverse Dash if you can beat my time. Because I'm certainly a bit rubbish. Right, let's open up Trolley Dash and have a look. So we can see there that we've all, we're quite full up. Quite full up on the graphics. So what we can do is... Um, let's just make this visible. I know they are working on um, improving. So I could just remove all these cardboard boxes actually. That would probably help. So if we go into here and we look at the source. We could delete a couple of these, but then it would be a bit repetitive. So maybe I should delete that and then I'll just save that as its own thing. Oops, cardboard box. Then I'm going to delete that and I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to go back to there. And I've only saved one blooming percent. Oh, how annoying. I wonder how expensive those are. So anyway, the f if I want to get my graphics down, I need to reduce the... Um, I need to reduce the detail. So let's have a look and see what's our most expensive things. Well, these bin, bin, bean tins are quite expensive. These boxes are quite expensive. The wine isn't that expensive, it seems. The floor is actually quite expensive. And these railings are quite expensive. So what we can do is we can reduce the detail on the railings because they don't need to be that expensive we could reduce some of the detail on this trolley I mean look how high res that thing is silly sausage uh, we could reduce some detail on here should we do that let's do that okay so let's come out of there let's go into there It all helps. Every little helps, kittens. And we're going to just increase. Oops. What's everyone saying? Hello, Pandy Bups. Hello, Team Timesis. Hello, Miss McGeek. And hello, Dan Per 237. The boxes are worth that 1%, but don't worry, I'll put them back. Uh, 
I know, I did actually make the buttons press quit more quickly. There were two seconds, and now there are only one. Um, there are new tutorials in the works, but I can't tell you any more than that. Let me see if I can do that tag again. Yay! Right, it's there now. I've done it. It's, we're now categorised. The stream is now a dream stream. So let's um, let's just loosen up these green bits on the ends because they're a bit they're a bit expensive, and they don't need to be. There you go. Look, that doesn't really need to be any more than that, does it? So let's save that. Save this version. And go back to previous creation. And it hasn't saved anything. But it's okay. <laughs> It will all add up in the end. It will all add up in the end. Right. What we'll do as well is when we create our dummy objects, because what we're going to do is every shelf contents are going to make a dummy version of, which has got all the objects in one object. And then, at least this is what I'm thinking. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't update. So maybe I have saved some. Where is it? Where's my veg display? There it is. Did I save some? Why isn't it showing me my... Oh. No, I didn't save anything. Oh, well. Let's have a look at this bean tin. See if we can save some there. Save. Have I updated it? I have now. See, look how complicated that is. But it needs to be that complicated, sausages. So, it is quite loose already. Can we loosen it some more? Ten percent looser. Save. make it any looser it's going to look horrible that one's auto updated still haven't saved anything gosh this is annoying isn't it let's try let's try loosening this a little bit So we're going to use star mode, loosen, yeah, it doesn't need to be any more than that does it? Let's save that. Can I, once you've uploaded a level, can you delete the separate sculpts? Uh, I don't know. I've no idea whether there's any difference at all. Um, so please, I'm not the most technical. You'd have to ask one of the programmers. Um, we're still on 79%. So really, that is not the problem. 
it, the looseness is not a problem, really. I mean, look, what this is showing us is that in spite of everything, the beans are the most expensive thing we've got. Goodness knows why. I think it's because we're considering the scale. If we don't consider the scale, then um, it's a different story. Now the fridges are the most expensive, although we have just loosened them. But anyway, we can um, we can always roll back to earlier versions because that's the wonder of video game development. Like this doesn't need to be that doesn't need to be so tight, does it? Let's loosen that up a bit. And then we update. Look at our thermometer. Still seventy nine. Oh dear. I wonder what we need to do then. Should we try this floor, do you think? Maybe that will help. didn't help either I wonder whether we should just roll back yeah, but it didn't make any difference I know Kim Al I know who Kim Al is that's Claire she's a programmer and yes she knows what she's talking about um maybe we should just um make some more stuff and wait till the thermometer explodes and then see what happens should we do that that'd be more fun wouldn't it so let's um what i was going to do was i'm going to make some more bottles so i'm going to remix the bottles I'm going to make some more tin cans, but different colours, which have got different prices. I'm going to make some more boxes of things, so we could have like cornflakes. And I was going to, we need to make some stuff to go in these fridges, and some freezer stuff. Some frozen peas, and some chicken, maybe, frozen chickens. They're always popular on Supermarket Sweep. And uh, what else? Anyway, let's exit here. Let's go to the versions and revert back. There, we've reverted. 
So now if we go in here I think everything's back to normal. These could be a bit soft uh looser as well. Anyway, let's remix some stuff. Let's make a different can of beans. Dog food would be good, wouldn't it? What colour should we do the dog food? Sausages. <laughs> Cat food. That's a good idea. Um, let's put the grid on. Let's put spray paint on. Cat food should be pink, personally. Uh, it's just do that. That's it. That's it. There we go. Oops. There we go. Kitty food. And then we'll do a blue bit. And then we'll do a round bit with a yellow bit. Dale Winton. Sheba. See, I only have dogs at home, so I wouldn't know what cat food looks like. I'm just guessing. I'll be doing my voiceover. Dale Winston will will live on in in my um. I'll be taking over the crown. Let's put it that way. don't need the grid anymore do we there we go let's just remove, remove that round and then we can let's just do uh Some eyes. And last 
last but not least I should use surface snap but I'm being lazy that'll do did it show minus one percent Anyway, let's um let's how much do you think cat food should be worth? Make less than baked beans or more than baked beans? I reckon cat food would be more than baked beans. Let's say it's 80p. Because cats, you know, cats like a bit of quality. Cat food. Well, it'll be Kitty on the tannoy. Hello, kittens. Welcome to Supermarket Sweep. If you've played any of my games, you'll know my video is hilarious. She said modestly. Oh no, look, we missed a bit. That's no good, is it? Means we're going to have to. Do something about that. Minus one. Oh, it went down one. Well, I'm not going to complain. Right, so that's all done now. So let's save that. It is a... Is it a contraption? I suppose it is. It's got quite a lot of logic. Cat food. Cat food. Part of the reason why we need to optimise is because we keep running out of wires. So now we've got cat food. Should we do another tin? Yes, you should just practice. It took me a while. Clean up in aisle three, kittens. Um, right, should we do another tin? <laughs> Lovelies. Let's do an expensive tin. I think we should do smoked salmon. Because that would be more expensive. So let's do that. Tin salmon. Mmm, delicious. So if cat food is blue and the beans are red and yellow and orange, what colour would smoked salmon be? Actually, you know, the cat food was pink. So let's do... Let's do blue. Let's do pale blue. Oops. Let's get it... Let's get our grid on. And then, 
let's go into brush edit wait a minute and do that do that Anyone see any exciting games at E3 that they want to play? Um, I'll tell you what I played the other day and I'm going to be writing a review for Gamers Magazine is Dar uh, Vader Immortal on the Oculus Quest I don't know if you've heard of that uh, what colour next? Kittens, green. We haven't had green yet. It's not very um salmony though, is it? Let's paint. Let's paint a fish on there. That's it. Here we go. Salmon, yes, it's salmon. For those spoiled kittens who like a bit of salmon. It does take a bit of getting used to these controls, but you can get there. There's a point where you get really frustrated and you wonder if you're ever going to be able to learn it and then if you keep keep going it does eventually happen. Okay, there's our smoked salmon. So let's just put its label on. Smoked. Salmon. What we're going to do is we're going to do three types of each shape with different prices on them. And then we'll do some for the uh, for the thing. How much is smoked salmon? Smoked salmon is going to be £1.20 because it's ex expensive. Now the good thing about the tins is they're small, so you can fit lots of them in your trolley. Um, okay, I'm going to need to change the tag. Actually, smoked salmon doesn't come in tins, does it? It's just regular salmon. It's a contraption. Don't forget to label your creations as well, kittens. Because um, it makes it easier for people to find them in the Dreamiverse. And also tag them. Because... Obviously, there's so many people creating things. You need to find, get your stuff found. So make sure you tag it and put it in the correct category. It is Waitrose Sweep. 
I'm a posh bird, me. Right, so let's do um, let's do some different bottles. So let's remix the wine, which really is red wine. So I'm going to change that name. Red wine. Then we're going to remix it, and we're going to change it to something else. Um, what should we do? What comes in the bottle that looks like that? How much is the red wine? Three pounds. We could do something more expensive. What about white wine? <laughs> white wine would be a sort of pale green bottle. Or a sort of golden colour, wouldn't it? Oops. La 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 la. So we had a busy week this week in the studio, doing all sorts of things. Did you watch the, the streams? To be honest, I've been too busy. But um, there's lots of exciting things on the way for you, sausages. Right. Does that look like white wine? I'm not sure if it does. Tell you what I might do is I might do this. There. And then I'm gonna give it a gold a gold cap. Looks a bit more translucent, doesn't it, when you put a gradient on it. Here's a top tip for you, kittens. It sounds like a great weekend. We could do... Um, I was thinking olive oil, actually. Extra virgin, like me. <laughs> uh, what colour what color label should we have? Should have a yellow label, so it looks a bit more like um, white wine. Oh. It's all right, isn't it? I'm gonna put another one on the back. There, white wine. Good, isn't it? And just putting a gradient on it gives you this optical illusion that it's kind of see-through. Did you know that? You can use other people's creations if you want to. Hello, Nodja. How is everybody? Now, let's have a look. That's probably all right, isn't it? But just because it's it's wine, we should probably give it a bit more snazz. So let's... I don't like that green. Let's make it a bit greener. No, that doesn't work either. That one... Let's put surface snap on and turn grid snap off. And then we can do... Uh, 
a bunch of grapes. Oops, they're not exactly in the middle. Or maybe something a bit more interesting. What about a sort of... Some kind of design. This is good, look. Oh, can I do that? should be able to yeah so it's easy to do a ring you just use a sphere and turn up hole that'll do won't it for now we can always come back and tart it up a bit more later right so let's um let's just quickly do this White wine. And how much would white wine be? Would that be more expensive than red wine? Probably. Let's make it a fiver. There we go. Call it a contraption because it's got logic in it. Now we'll just do that so it's on the server. Okay, we've got white wine, we've got red wine. What other what other things do we want to do? We should do another bottle really, shouldn't we? Should we do like orange squash or robina or something? Black currant squash. Um What about we talked about balsamic, didn't we? What about... Uh, let's do blackcurrant, because then it'll be a different colour. Which is important, so that they're recognisable. Balsamic would just look like red wine again. We'll give it a green lid. There we go. Well, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a carton. So that will probably be about the same size and I will put those in the fridges. So let's put, let's do this.
tell you, when I was a kid, I loved Ribena. And let's do uh, I'll do. Okay. Black current cordial. Because we wouldn't want to be sued for breaching copyright now, would we? Sausages. Uh, and how much is that? Probably not as much. It's probably maybe only two pounds. Two fifty. See gameplay, we want everything to be different prices, so you have to think about what you're putting in the trolley. Okay. How lovely. Right. Save. As a contraption. Black current cordial. Hello, Dream Tinder. I'm going to do cornflakes. Yes. I might do brown flakes just to. Or cocoa pops, just just to push the boat out a bit. You never know. Living dangerously. Okay, let's leave that one. So we've got three bottles. That'll be enough for now. Let's create. Oh, we were going to, we could probably sort of, we could probably loosen up these things because they're super duper expensive. I thought I cloned those. I thought when you used this tool that it was supposed to... Because that looks all right, you wouldn't notice. Fifty 
50% and 50% We'll leave those because they're right in the firing line. And hopefully that will save us a little bit of thermometer when we go back to the supermarket level what do you mean by a mass mod? moderation? the, w the thing is nobody's making any money out of it so I wouldn't worry too much but the copyright holders have the right to complain and if they do complain that content will be removed um so it's your it's your choice whether you want to risk that media molecule will never will never feature copyright infringing anything on their channels that's another thing to think about. So if you really want to participate in the community, it is better to create original things. And then there's no risk that anyone's ever going to take your stuff down. Um, so that's, that's it, really. Right, what are we doing? We're going to make... Uh, we're going to make... Oh, we've got so much to do. We need to make some more boxes of stuff since those are cheap. So let's go here. And let's make something else. We're going to do some cornflakes, won't we? Or would you rather. What cereal do you request? Hello, Nudger. Optimizing, I don't know. Well, we'll see. What we're doing now is we're creating all the new products to go on the shelves. Then we're going to try and put them in the game. And we're going to see how much we can get in without it exploding. And then when we get to that stage, we'll think about more severe optimizations. Does that make sense? Fruit Loops. All right, what color should we make the box? Fruit Loops. Let's make them yellow. Then let's put a sort of creamy colored That wasn't very good, was it? Like that. And then we'll do oops. Then we'll do that and then we'll do that old trick There. 
and we'll stick a box like a text box on the back just because we can oops in a slightly darker brown right I need to calibrate my imp I need to put on the the grid That's it. That's where they put all the writing. Oops, I messed it up. <laughs> oh dear. That's where they put all the writing. And then we'll put some... Um, some of those loopy things if we put surface snap on and then we can do different colours uh, let's do some orange ones. And then we'll do some yellow ones. And then we'll do some kind of lilac y ones. And then we'll write on there. And we'll call them loops. Yay! <laughs> we'll give it a generic name. Where did I put that in there? Breakfast cereal. And how much is breakfast cereal? Cheaper than washing powder, I can tell you. Should we make it? three pounds or two and a half three seems appropriate oh save our sheep all right embergs i'm sorry why can't you watch today that's not fair cake mix Cake mix would be in a in a smaller box, wouldn't it? Well, you can do that with text display as Dream Tinder. If you really want sharp text, you should use a text displayer. Um. Or you can use the grid and just make your thing 
you know, if, if you use... Who knows how things will evolve. Let's just put it that way. It's not finished yet. Uh, contraption. Oh, I'm a bit tired. Breakfast. Cereal. Well, it is, but, um... I know, but there's really only, that's really the only way to do nice sharp text is, I mean, because how else would you do it? What would you use it for? That's what I want to know. I mean, that's a pretty sharp line. The only reason it's not sharper is because the box isn't, um, isn't very, is very loose. Okay, let's leave here. And remixes again. Now, what else would you have in a box about that size? Breakfast cereal and... Have a think, kittens. Help me. Help mummy. Oh, I've just noticed this has got the wrong sound. <sighs> Collisions. Soft impacts. Guess we use the bouncy shoe drop. There we go. Um, save. Obviously, it's a remix. No, we're not remixing. All right, yeah, let's remix it. Let's save it now. Cookies, pet food. We've already done cat food. Biscuits. Bis in England, biscuits come in a tube. We actually haven't done a tube yet, have we? Um. What about... What about... It already is washing powder. We need to make it into something else. Um, I suppose dog food. I mean, I do love dogs. Do I am a dog person. Okay, what colour? The cereal was yellow. I didn't catch that. Oh, Siri thinks I'm talking to them. Um, 
What about purple? Oh, red. We haven't done red yet. Let's do red. Making me yawn, kittens. Um, no. Well, that's cool. Uh, where's the hole? There's the hole. But if I make it an angle, it makes kind of cool effects. Let's just turn that down slightly. There. Doggy doodars. Right, let's do that. And. There. It's kind of cool. There's dogs have spoilt. And then we'll do the bone in a sort of... What we'll do is we'll do a bone. But we'll make it... We'll make a dark one first. You know, just for the lols. It's going to look a bit rude for a few seconds, so don't look. A, just look. Don't look. A, just look away for a minute. <laughs> View crisis averted. Kitty, you are silly. There. It's a bone. And then what we'll do is we'll put a little text box on the back like we did before. Like that. We'll put it at a jaunty angle because because that's what we do. That's the styling on this box. Is everything's a bit wacky. 
There we go. Doggy treats. <laughs> oh, sausages, you know I'm only kidding. Right, dog treats. Doggy, doggy, dog, dog. We are going to need to make some vegetables as well, you know. How much do you think dog treats are worth? They're not cheap, you know. I'll have you know that. But they're not as expensive as... They're not as expensive as... Washing powder. So we're making three pounds eighty. Now what I'm thinking is these prices are gonna need to be stored somewhere so that they're global, so that I don't have to remember them all. Don't you think? Um, so what I could do is create a variable for each item and each variable could be the price and then I can just call that variable can't I that would work wouldn't it I don't know. We'll see. Right, unique paintings. That's a good question. So, what it means is individual objects. So even though, if you clone a sculpt, if you clone anything, it's cheaper than, if you clone a, a, an object and then you fiddle with it, it becomes unique, right? It's, it is a separate object, so they are separate things. There's a number of different processes involved, a number of different storage mediums and a number of different optimizations at work in dreams to make it run on the hardware that's why you have multiple thermometers now i don't know the exact science behind it all all i know is what i've learned while using it but a clone which hasn't been messed around with is cheaper than a clone which has been messed around with because that then is classed as a separate object. So the game can optimise a clone more if it hasn't been messed around with. Now with paint strokes what you can do is if you're not going to see them so if you've got a sculpt and you embed it in something like you've shoved it into a wall so you can't see half of it you could go into that sculpt and delete half the paintings um, or you could another thing you can do is you can merge paintings but you've got to be careful when you're doing that because any tweak values that have been set will be messed up if they're not the same on both paintings um, but you can optimise that way. If you select multiple paintings in a scene, a button will appear on the in the context menu to merge them, and that will optimise them a bit. 
Or you could just delete the paintings and just use the sculpts if something's going to be really far away or something. Um, but yeah, unique paintings just means separate paintings. And I suspect, although I don't know for sure, that also brush strokes that are separate inside a painting. Um, if there's a lot of them can be expensive as well so that's about all I can say but basically when you finish your level or you're you're finished with a bit of your level and you know you don't want to mess with it anymore and you think it looks nice then you can go in and start deleting bits that you can't see and stuff like that that will help and also maybe ungroup the paintings and the sculptures and combine the paintings into single paintings if they don't mess up. That would work as well. That's what I would suggest. But if you're not planning, if you're planning to edit those areas anymore, I wouldn't do that yet. I'd wait. Just get a bit looking like you want it and then optimise it. Because if, you if you're going to change it again, you may have lost valuable functionality by optimising. That's why we always do optimising at the end. Does that help? Um, I don't know about strategy guides, but next time there's a stream you should ask. Um, clone size, not sure. I don't know if size really makes much difference. But what I would say is if you are going to scale things down, I would loosen them because this, this, the, the splats, or flex rather, will remain the same density. So if you make something smaller, it doesn't need to be as tight. It can be looser. So you can optimise that way as well. Anyway, anyway, I've been nattering away and I've forgotten all about what I was doing. So let's... We've got three boxes. We've got three tins and we've got three bottles. I'm going to now... create a carton... Um, which means I'm going to create a new sculpture. about the same size as a bottle of wine but not and I'm going to Use the stretch tool to just stretch it a bit. Oops. And we're going to do um. that that's it oops there we go 
And then we're going to do... I mean, really, we ought to do this. Oops. That's weird. That's better. There we go. This is popped that in. Oh, oh dear. Well, that's not going to work, is it? gonna do we're gonna do this It's worth bearing in mind, it took me many months to get as good as I am with this. And I'm not even that good, really. I've just been using it a lot. So, don't lose heart if you get frustrated. I got frustrated. I got very frustrated. Um... But just like then, <laughs> the I mean, the software does have its peculiarities. There's no getting away from that. But. It is extremely user friendly in the grand scheme of of things like this. Like this is a very very powerful three D modelling tool and it allows you to do music and everything in one place. I mean there is no other software like that. To do that it it needs to be relatively complex. You couldn't make a something like that that wasn't complex. It's impossible. So let's just stamp that in place. Why isn't it letting me do that? There we go. Don't worry, kittens. I know what I'm doing. It might not look like it. But we're here to help you get used to it. I mean, don't forget as well that the people working at Media Molecule have had time to get used to it. It's still new to, to everyone that's... that's in the community some people have taken to it quicker than others but um, you know everybody's different right that's it because you can only get it so flat without it turning into one of those funny flat things I'm going to do that who'd have thought making a 
milk cart would be such an involved process. How is everyone anyway? Are you all following nicely? Yeah, excuse me. Let's put the precision move on and then what we're going to do is to slide that across. There we go. It's a carton. So now we can do milk. And we can do orange juice. So let's do that, shall we? Let's get... some... I'm going to do another gradient because I like those. I like a nice gradient. I do. Do you want the top or the bottom? Top or bottom? Bro? I haven't been called bro, I don't think ever. <laughs> I've just realised that um, I missed a bit. Do we want top or bottom? Oh, well, that's a good idea, Dream Tinder. What are you making? I'm going to make it top. And I'm going to make Oh, I see. Yes, that's a good idea. Oh, I did top in the end. Sorry, reckless snipes. Never mind. Another day. I think it needs some blue, don't you? make that bigger we can do a jaunty angle again because we like those oh no I missed a bit how irritating
faire and I'm going to put a little splodge of dark a darker blue not that dark not that dark just there just to make it look like a brand name there we go, there's our milk let's just put much should we make the milk? £1.50. That's quite expensive milk. It's luxury milk. Kitty Powers milk. <laughs> Not my own personal milk, of course. That would be disgusting. Carton. There it is. Oh, thanks, Reckless Snipes. Okay, let's make an orange juice. So let's remix that. Orange, orange, juice, right, oh, what am I doing? I had a brain fart there for a moment. I'm sure you know what I mean by that. Orange. Juice. And how much is orange juice? It's a bit more expensive than milk. But not as expensive... I'm going to put 250. Does that seem fair? And then we need to paint it. So let's do a sort of a yellowy colour. And then we'll do a sort of an orangey colour. I don't want to make them all look the same because that would be sort of a waste of an opportunity. It's kind of 70s, but it's not unpleasant. I think it needs a little bit of green to make it more fruity. Uh, let's have a think. I did put green on the milk as well though so I don't want it to get repetitive let's 
let's do this. Why is it doing that? <sighs> I need to un... That's better. It was annoying me. Why isn't that on straight? That's weird, isn't it? It's like the carton's not straight. And the imp's in the blooming way. I'm going to turn off the grid. In some ways, not in others. Oh, bloody hell. bugging me now. What am I going to do? Maybe think of something else. Um, let's do this. Oh, the grid was as small as it will go, which is a bit annoying, isn't it? I am going to soften it a little bit. There's your orange juice. What else comes in a carton that isn't juice or milk? <laughs> um, 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 um. Hello, I roar UK. Um, what else do we need to make I've only got till 4 o'clock today I probably should stop a little bit before that so is there anything you'd like me to look at I'm going to I'm glad I've made some headway into making these things because I've been putting it off so what I'll probably do is I'll finish this off well at least I'll do some more work on it in the week and that way you've got a little bit of time if you want to ask me any questions or want me to look at anything specific.
before I go because I've only got 25 minutes left. So let's go to the dream surfing and see. Somebody asked me to look at something earlier. Save our sheep. So let's start there. Oh, did you play it? You got under 30 seconds. Well done. Save. Our. Oh. Sheep. Oh, there it is. Let's have a go at that. It looks quite good, doesn't it? I like the environment. <laughs> right, what do I have to do? Right. What is that thing? Oh, it's a UFO. Oh, my goodness. I love the visuals. The UFO is trying to get my sheep. the artwork. The artwork's really good. I like the fact the AI is good on the sheep as well. I kind of I feel like I'm very far away. Oh, I haven't got much time. I feel like this should. I mean, it feels like there's an endless supply of sheep, which is good. But um, it feels like there's not a lot of jeopardy. Because the sheep is going to keep coming. So maybe there should be a limited amount of sheep. So that when I lose one, I, I really get upset about it. Because, I mean. Oh, oh some of them drowned. Oh. What about these sheep? Lovely. That was good. I enjoyed that. It looked great. The best thing about it was the visuals. And the AI on the sheep. Um, I feel like I'd like to get a bit closer to the action, maybe. Maybe I could have the ability to zoom in and out or something. Uh, I would give limited sheep. But also what you could do is have like... Um, well, you could tart up the dog as well, whatever it's supposed to be. That would be good. Make it animate and stuff. But, I mean, the environment's f fine. It's good. Very good. Graphic design is good. I like this cover screen. I'm impressed. You've got quite a lot of people on your thingy. So a lot of people have played it. It's got 34 thumbs up. Gosh. I'm going to look at these new filters. MMPix. Look, we've got MMPix now. Is there anything here that I haven't played? 
Oh, this is all just passive stuff. Oh, one second, kittens. Give me just a moment. Hello sausages. Sorry about that. That was Mr. Mr. Powers. I'm only going to have time to look at one thing. Because I really need to go. Reality is beckoning me. Um, let's have a look. Have you got any recommendations? Well, let's just look at what's um, trending right now. <laughs> it's quite funny. Short run is up to outburst. I didn't actually see that though, but it is funny. So we'll give it a thumbs up. This looks fun. When the mountains caught the sun. Shall I look at that? Give me a sec, I'll just look at this quickly. Once upon a time, in a forgotten land named Mer, there existed an enchanted crystal. Its power was immense. So much so that if the enchanted crystal's powers were to be harnessed for evil, certain doom would befell the land of Mer. Mer. <laughs> Oh dear, who's that? I, oh, scary. But before the corruption was complete, the enchanted crystal created Oracle, the Seeker. Its sole purpose to travel throughout the realm and beyond, seeking out the one true champion that will cure the enchanted crystal of its corrupted state and vanquish the great evil. Oh, blimey. It looks like the name begins with Mer and they didn't finish the word. Oh, this is nice. Okay, let me just quickly look at this. I might have to come back to this one.
Okay, let me um come back to this one. How do I add it to my play later? Follow it. So play later. Now what's it called? When the mountains caught the sun. Uh There it is. Okay, I need to be quick because I'm going to get told off if I take too long. It's uh, nice. There's nothing wrong with a big empty landscape. Everyone is obsessed with filling things up. That's quite nice. I like the depth of field. It's almost a bit too much depth of field. Makes it feel very small. Maybe you could do with some trees, I don't know. I mean, you could put some... I mean, those things in the, the far right, those blobby things, look a bit like trees, but you might want to get some trees that are a bit more... tree-ish. What you could also do is use the, grade, the grading gadget to kind of make the colour scheme more cohesive, perhaps. But I liked that, that was cool. I'm guessing that's the end. Um, yeah, I would try to look at using some different assets for the trees, because to me they weren't working very well. You could maybe put a dot a few bushes around. But I wouldn't feel like you have to fill up the space completely. Yeah, maybe a little bit of animation. And do a little bit of work on the characters. But anyway, kittens, I've got to go. Thank you all for coming. Um, I will do some more work on the supermarket stuff. If I don't get a chance before next week, we'll do some more next week. And then we'll go back to the cakes at some point, and we'll also go back to the environment that I was building last week. And if you've got any questions, let me know. You can always follow me on social media, Ms. Kitty Powers. You might see me on the stream, Media Molecule Stream. Don't forget to watch those. And don't forget you can follow me uh, here as well. And uh, have fun in the Dreamiverse. Spread the word. Get your friends to play. Um, use the new filters and see what good stuff you can find. And maybe make some collections of all your favourite bits and bobs. And um, I'll see you next week, if not before. Alright, sausages. Have fun. 
and I'll see you later.